back last night we brought you the first poll on New Mexico's second congressional district. The rematch between Representative Gabe Vasquez and former Representative Yvette Harrell looks like a barn burner. Harrell leads Vasquez by a single point in our poll. Tonight we look at some of the issues driving that contest and the messages they send to New Mexico leaders. Here's for investigator Matt Grubbs. Nowhere are New Mexicans more in tune with the border than the second congressional district. From Sunland Park West, New Mexico has miles upon miles of border wall. It's a big issue out in the oil patch too, and we asked 800 adults in CD2, has returning to pre-pandemic rules led to more, less, or the same amount of illegal immigration? Remember back in May when Title 42, the so-called Remain in Mexico policy, went away and the U.S. stopped expelling all migrants, this was a huge question. There's a lot of perception wrapped up in this because very few people know actual numbers and we depend on the government for those numbers. We know arrests were down in the first couple months, but up a lot in July. Here are the results. 41% of people felt there was more illegal immigration. 15% said less. 20% thought it was about the same and 24% did not know. Pollster Ken Alper says there is a partisan divide here. There's a bit of a partisan difference there with 63% of Republicans saying more. Uh, only 30% of Democrats are seeing more. And independents, 37 say more and less. 22 are seeing no change. But whether respondents said they lived in an urban, suburban, or rural setting, they all felt just about the same. Illegal immigration must be up. Recognizing that enforcement is a federal responsibility, we also asked, would you support or oppose the governor taking a more aggressive approach to border security? Such as, we said, asking the National Guard to observe and report potential illegal crossings. Five of every eight people said yes, please. 43% of adults said they strongly support a stronger state approach. 20% somewhat support it. 11% somewhat opposed more aggressive state action. 13% strongly opposed it and 13% were not sure. That's 63% overall favoring more aggressive state action at the border. And UNM's Michael Rocca says voters are hungry for action. Americans are giving a little more leeway than we normally would to governors just getting things done. And the reason, of course, is because I think Americans are getting fed up with with how little is getting done by state legislatures and by the U.S. Congress. With five out of eight adults concerned about climate change in our CD2 poll with Survey USA, we got into electric vehicles. Just 38% of adults said they'd buy an EV even if cost was not a factor. That might have something to do with the 56% of CD2 adults who thought it would be difficult to charge an electric vehicle. Finally, we told people about the federally approved storage site for spent nuclear fuel in CD2. It's between Carlsbad and Hobbs. The state has banned its own agencies from issuing permits for the facility. Just a quarter of people supported the idea. 61% opposed the facility, with four out of 10 feeling strongly about the issue. With a neck and neck race predicted again for the second congressional district, issues like these will decide the winner. Matt Grubbs for Investigates.